This section introduces the project, detailing the author's experience with the Google OAuth app verification process for www.posttoyoutube.com. The Google OAuth app verification process is vital for third-party applications using Google's OAuth 2.0 system to access user data. It aims to ensure applications are safe and trustworthy, protecting users' data. Key aspects reviewed include the app's identity, requested scopes, privacy policy, ownership, and a demonstration if sensitive scopes are used. Verification enhances user trust and lowers the risk of malicious apps. Verification is generally required when accessing sensitive or restricted API scopes, which are defined by Google during the OAuth authorization process. Accessing sensitive scopes, such as email and calendar, or restricted scopes, which provide extensive data access like uploading videos to YouTube, mandates verification. The Google Cloud Console identifies scope categories, applications set to external, that wish to display their app name and logo on the OAuth consent screen must undergo brand verification to meet display requirements. Apps designated as external with an in-production status usually require verification if they seek permissions beyond basic profile information, thereby ensuring compliance. Any significant modifications to an already verified app, like requesting new sensitive scopes or making major branding updates, may trigger the need for re-verification to maintain compliance. Verification is typically not required in specific scenarios that include personal use apps, development testing staging apps, internal use apps, and apps accessing their data via a service account. Personal use apps, or those serving fewer than 100 users, typically do not require verification initially. However, surpassing this user limit will necessitate it, bringing an unverified app warning to users. Apps in the testing status are usually exempt from verification. Keeping production and development projects isolated is crucial, with a user cap under 100 for testing apps. Apps solely used within a Google Workspace or Cloud Identity organization typically do not need verification if configured for internal use, emphasizing organizational ownership. Apps that solely use their data through a service account without accessing user data do not require verification. Regardless, adherence to Google API services user data policy is mandatory for all integrations. The author needed verification for posts to YouTube to enhance user experience, eliminate the unverified app warning, and increase quota limits, particularly to support more than 100 users. The verification process involves configuring inputs in the Google Cloud project, particularly within the branding tab. An image showcases the relevant settings required for the app's branding. In the first step of branding, requirements for the app logo are highlighted with an image. The author utilized ChatGPT's image generation to create a professional logo swiftly. The second step necessitates a privacy policy displayed in the Google Cloud Console. The author developed the policy by collaborating with Gemini and referencing content from the app's landing page. The author provided content from the app's landing page to draft a comprehensive privacy policy. The sections illustrate the landing page and the implemented privacy policy text. The third step involves domain ownership verification, referencing Google's official documentation. Users can choose from seven verification options, as illustrated in a provided image. The author opted for domain name provider for post to youtube.com verification detailing the Google Cloud Console instructions for domain verification through Namecheap. The author details the domain provider settings in Namecheap for verification, describing the procedure to verify through Google Cloud Console. After following the verification steps on Namecheap, the author proceeded to verify ownership in Google Cloud Console, indicating successful verification through an image. For post to youtube.online, the author couldn't use the DNS option and opted for HTML file upload to verify domain ownership, explaining the property type selection process. The author describes downloading the HTML verification file required for domain ownership verification, demonstrating the steps through an accompanying image. The verification completion is illustrated with an image showcasing the message indicating successful ownership verification for post to youtube.online in Google Search Console. The final step involves creating a demonstration video as part of the verification requirements, directing users to relevant resources and images 
outlining the process. This section highlights important considerations regarding the verification not required status, typically shown when an app is in testing status, and notes the anticipated change when transitioning to in production. This section lists references for further reading, including official documentation links that provide additional context and guidelines regarding Google OAuth verification processes.